All right, good morning. In my bedroom with my roll around 24 volt power box and just got some stuff done I want to talk about. This is the one I have the big sun power, the three big sun power solar panels in parallel powering this. And let me talk just a couple quick little things here. I just got done replacing the AA batteries in the touch light and the 9 volt in the smoke detector for safety. But so what you got going here is we've got the solar input here <coughs> with 1,300 watts going into a 40 amp MPPT solar charger. Which, you know, whatever. But I max that some bitch out. <laughs> Those sun powers are so damn powerful. And when I was having my problem with the fuses, and I got a couple of fuses in right here, and I've already installed them. And as you remember, I do freaking three condom type thing. I've got circuit breaker for the solar charger, circuit breaker for the inverter. And then down here, on both the positive and the negative 24 volt feed, I've got those marine grade fuses. <laughs> so essentially it's wearing three condoms. And the new ones are right up here, 100 amp. So all of them are 100 amp right now. Got going in here. Now, in my infinite freaking wisdom and stupidity, what the first thing I did when I had problems, and it was the fuses that was the problem, I blew them because I was getting 1,300 plus watts. I was getting more than 30 amps because I had designed this box for a 30 amp solar charger. Uh, and then I put a 40 amp in there and dummy me didn't change all the fuses, so I blew fuses. The first thing I did when I was having problems was saying, you know, this gosh darn freaking battery equalizer balancer is junk. And that was my first thought. So I just got the freaking cutters out and cut all the wires got rid of it and it wasn't that gosh dang it dummy me right so what I had to do is re put all new freaking ends on all of them and test them out using my clamp amp meter to make sure this thing was regulating and it, it is and let me show you right down here these the string right here, which would be these two batteries right here, were all jacked up. I mean, we're talking, this was about 13.8, and this was about 13.2 or so. Now look at them after about half an hour or so. These are almost balanced out, equalized. Now you say equalize <clears throat> for all you guys who run flood leaded batteries, it's, it's not the same thing. It's a different type of thing going on here. But this thing works absolutely freaking great with these Battleborn Lithiums, which are about, what, 1.2 kilowatt hour batteries. So I'm getting about 4.8 kilowatt hours out of the system here to run. A little bit of air conditioning at night, not much. Um, it, does, it does the job, especially with freaking over-paneled solar panel. i got 40 amps coming in here. Crazy good. But this thing is just about freaking equalized out enough for me to put everything back together again. Got to put the power tray back in. The negative, grounding, yakety schmackety, and this thing will be good to go. But, yeah, these work. These absolutely freaking work. And verified with my clamp meter. You know, you just put, put the clamp meter over, over the wires, and, and the stronger batteries are helping out the weaker one, which was this one. So now... All the voltages will remain consistent all the way through the charge and discharge cycle, hopefully. And eventually, after several charges and discharges, it should really balance itself out and not go crazy with the uh, variances here. So, I'm so glad I put four of these Blue Sea System voltmeters in here. So I can see each battery, what's going on. Smarty, smarty, getting, getting with this stuff. So, there you have it. Hope you have a good Friday and weekend if I don't make another video. And we'll see you next time.